Good morning world, welcome to My Web Dailies this week on the web, a roundup of what I've posted on my daily blog this week. And then we'll finish with a, a, a quick look at the tweets and links that you've been sending me. It is Saturday the 31st of March, World Backup Day. Woo! Although there has been some speculation on Twitter about who actually decided it was World Backup Day. Possibly a backup company. Only guessing. I haven't researched it obviously, but um, I do have my suspicions. Anyway, let's get on, shall we? First of the week on Monday was Doodle. If you've ever had trouble fixing a meeting with colleagues or friends, this site is brilliant, so simple. You just set up your event, say what you want to do, and then it gives you the option of putting a range of dates in that you might be available, and then you can put times in as well. And then once you've set up the, the poll, you can then send that link to your friends and they just tick, there's no registration necessary, they just say I'm available on this day, this day, this day and this day. Um, so here we are, there are options there, you put your name in there, uh, get my magnifying glass out, so you put your name in there and those are your options and you tick which ones you can make. And it creates a poll, so the winning date and time is the one that most people can make, which seems like a very democratic way to um, work out an appointment. On Tuesday was Blender. This movie here, have a look at this for a little while because this is just brilliant. This was made by a piece of open source software that you can download from blender.org. It's quite complicated to use. It is a you know fairly intense animation package. As you can see from this, you can just create the most amazing animations, all made with this open source. And this is an old one. Uh, the package has come on a long way since then. Um, this was one of the first movies that was made. So have a look at that if you fancy your hands at doing some animation. If you prefer to do karaoke, those of you who know me will know that I'm a big fan of karaoke. Uh, Pure Solo was posted on Wednesday and it's a brilliant site. You get to sample for free and then you get into it, then you're going to have to unfortunately pay some money to buy additional tracks. But this is um, one of the people who is a very popular... she is um, obviously you don't have to be that good this is sort of part of the community uh, posting so if you want to have a look just at what other people are doing then go here but you can actually create your own songs plug a microphone in download a backing track and you're off and running whether or not um, you'll want to share it with the world well that's up to you I guess and then on Thursday we looked at flatter now, Flatter is a scheme by which you can bank an amount of money per month. Say you want to give £10 a month to the sites that you really like um, that provide a free service. And they get a Flatter button and then you just click your Flatter button on their page if you want to reward them for the work that they do. And the amount that you've banked in the system at the end of the month will be divided amongst all the people that you flattered. So it's a really, um, again, another very democratic way of actually saying, do you know what? I like you, I'd like to give you a bit of money. And it's very easy to get set up and started. So show your appreciation for those that work so hard on the web. Okay, then on Friday, we had Animoto. Now, Animoto is one of those picture sharing. It's really old, it's been around for ages, but they are updating it all the time. So it's worth sort of having another look if you haven't seen it for a while. And you can create the most amazing montages with a music track. And this is one I made from my friend's wedding, Val and Kev. And you just feed in the photographs and it does all the editing for you. Edits it on the beat, you can upload a track of your own um, or you can choose one from their system. And it really is an amazing way to compile a bunch of photographs and share them with everybody. You can just share them on YouTube, send a link, whatever. Really nice service, really super easy to use. So that was Friday, but there was actually a little bonus on Friday. Woohoo! My Web Daily News. We are now, this very webcast that you're listening to, is actually available on iTunes. So it's taken me a while to sort it out. So there you go, subscribe free. Um, you just search for My Web Daily in uh, the podcast section of the iTunes Store, and there they are, all these episodes, and you can um, just have them automatically download. So good way to keep up with my web daily this week on the web okay so let's get to your week on the web now 
there's actually I've I've had a very showbiz week this week actually. It has to be said. So a few of these few of these things are actually about me rather than about what you found on the web. Sorry about that. But um, it's been an interesting week. Uh, we started it off on Wednesday going to the Sport Relief Ball, and I went there with LJ Rich, who some of who's actually taking this photograph, unfortunately, so you can't see it. But there's me and uh, the people that we were lit with. Al Scott, the guy who invited us. So, yes, a very eccentric table indeed it was, and we had a load of fun, so thank you very much. Um, next up, we had Andy Kay. Uh, yes, he sent this, do you want a new cookbook? Um, and I'm sorry, but there's something about the English sense of humour that this just appeals to me. Cooking with poo. <laughs> so, um, yes, it wins a prize for being the oddest title, and it certainly is cooking with poo. I saw a Thai restaurant in um, West Hampstead by the train station called La Dudu as well, which is another vaguely unappealing name for uh, something related with food. <laughs> now he also sent Andy, he also sent to me a video of a car that Google have made that actually drives itself and asked me what I thought about it and this guy's going to get in the car and I have to say um, I, we were talking about this just a couple of weeks ago at the uh, policy forum as well Vince Cerf was talking about it on stage and this car genuinely does they've got a fleet of them drive around the town on their own and they learn from each other and they learn from past mistakes and there he is just sort of not steering not doing anything now I don't know about you I don't think I'd be able to take my hands off that wheel. I'd be like, yeah, okay, you might be good at it, but you're still a machine. So what do you think? Would you let the car drive you without any input from you? Could you? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, so on Friday, we did a little game on Friday, and I just want to share it with you, really. We um, got people tweeting what a good sing-along tune for a Friday afternoon to start the weekend. And I hashtag them now playing, which means that they appear as a playlist on Reela.tv. So it's Reela.tv slash Kate Russell. And if you want to see and listen to, in fact, our Friday sing-along playlist, just pop along to this website and or this URL and um, you'll see what people were suggesting. So yeah, that was a fun game, and I might do it again next Friday. So stick around. If you want to have a sing-along, um, we might be doing it on Friday. Now, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about was my evening last night, where I went to see the lovely Russell Grant, who's a really good friend of mine, and I went to see him in The Wizard of Oz. And um, this is a photograph from the dressing room. Look at me, wearing one of the hats from the show. Woohoo! with the lovely Russell and it, if you haven't been to see it and you like a good musical do go and see it because it's an absolute spectacular Russell's only in it for a, a few more weeks I think he's doing a 12 week run and um, so you need to get your chance quickly and um, see this lovely man on stage who is an awesome singer who even knew I mean we knew he could dance a bit after Strictly but um, he's a really good singer so go along enjoy and um, send him my love and then finally, a really quick mention to one of my Twitter followers who tweeted this morning, Mitch Spearing, um, saying, which tie should I wear as the groom <laughs> on, um, I think it's next, uh, on, on Monday? So the two choices were the grey tie, which, or a silvery tie, which is very smart, but I think perhaps more best man, right? It's a little bit kind of uh, serious, but the pink lovely so we've suggested the pink as long as it doesn't clash with the bridesmaids um, which would be a massive faux pas so good luck Mitch I hope you have a really good day on Monday and a very very happy life together um, the what, last thing I wanted to really quickly talk about is the Facebook timelines for brown pages this has come out now and if you haven't got a brand page, you can see, obviously this is the bit you'll see. So I've put a cover there and it's now got the timelines format that you'll be familiar with from your own feeds um, for, for a little while now. But up the top here, you get all this analytics. Now people have been asking me what I think of this change. And I have to say at the moment, it is a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of information that I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with it. I mean, I just have a Facebook brand page to stay in touch with you guys, right, and post various interesting things that I think you might like. Um, whether I need to analyse you? Is all this telling me that I've got to start analysing you? Hmm. See, that's my dilemma. I'm going to wait a couple of weeks, I think, and just see how I get on with it, see whether or not I um, 
manage to come to terms with the information they're giving me and find a use for it or if it doesn't just become a big issue of cluttering up my life um, even more than it is already. So that's it. That was my week on the internet, your week on the internet. I hope you found something useful in there. Have a very good weekend and I will speak to you. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe to us on iTunes. And um, if you want to give us any sort of like stars or likes or something like that, um, however it is that they rank things, then do feel free. Thank you very much for listening. And now it's time for those crazy credits. 